Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all have enjoyed Ganpati vacation. Now today we are going to start with a new topic that is soil. Soil is uppermost layer of earth. Plants grow in a soil. Roots of a plant absorb water and minerals from soil. Small animals like insects and earthworms live in a soil. In today's period we are going to learn about how does soil form. Formation of soil is a continuous process that takes many years. You will see in a textbook page number 23 some pictures are given here. They show us how does soil form. Soil is formed by the breakdowns of rock in a tiny pieces. Rocks are heated by the sun and cooled by the cold weather. The continuous heating and cooling cause rocks to crack and break down into small pieces. These small pieces are carried to different places by the wind or running water. The pieces are rubbed one another till they finally become a tiny particles of soil. Dead plants and animals also get mixed with these small pieces. Thus, the soil is a mixture of tiny pieces of rocks and remains of dead animals and plants. So, what we have done today? We have learned about how does soil form. In that, we have seen to form a layer of soil, it takes many years. Due to heating and cooling, rocks break down into small pieces. These small pieces are carried with wind and running water to the different places. These small pieces are mixed with remains of dead animals and plants, and the layer of soil is formed. So the soil is a mixture of small pieces of rocks and remains of dead animals and plant. Okay, so now you new words that new words you have to copy in your notebook. Okay, so number one, formation. Number two, soil. Number three, breakdown. Number four, pieces. Number five, rub. Number six, particles. And number seven, mixture. Okay, so these are all words you have to recite. Also find these all words from the lesson and underline it. Now see on page number 24, multiple choice questions are given here. So number one is, the uppermost layer of the earth is called, correct, soil. Number two, the roots of the plants go into the soil to get correct water and minerals. So read the lesson properly. 